This is where I work on a lot of my vinyl toys. Um, the only thing I've really added for this project is uh, soldering iron right here, which I used to use back when I raced RC cars. Uh, yeah, that was a hell of a hobby. But anyhow, um, what we have is the prototype Scully Boom. Um, we've actually made it out of the DIY Scully. Um, what I did is cut him directly in half using a bandsaw. Uh, could probably do it with any Dremel or anything as long as, you, as long as you draw the line out first. Uh, the next thing was to cut this acrylic piece, uh, which I used a Dremel to get the initial shape of it, and then a grind wheel to really refine it. Um, it was important to basically make this piece as big as possible to fit in here because it'll give it a really tight fit, um, which in effect kind of stresses the vinyl out and makes it harder, which makes it perform better as a speaker. The production model of the Scully Boom, uh, we're actually going to use a hard injection molding uh, plastic, but we're going to put a rubberized coating on it, not only for the rugged factor, but because we thought it would be cool to stay true to the vinyl toy roots of, uh, of the Scully Boom product. Uh, here's a close-up. Just check it out. Um, this is a belt clip I also made out of a block of acrylic. Uh, this speaker I got out of a pair of Philips. Uh, portable speakers. They had them at Target for 20 bucks and they just dropped right into the Scully really perfectly. Uh, it's just epoxied in with a little notch right here to hold it in place and uh, I also just used two millimeter screws that are countersunk around the whole thing to hold this thing together. Um, with this prototype we don't have the PCBs made or the electronics uh, custom yet. They're up in Oregon uh, with our friend Jerry Ellsworth and she's making uh, you know the ones for the prototypes but for now we have to have this uh, amplifier stored remotely. It's not a big deal though. You could just put it in your pocket and have Scully Boom kind of sit on your waist uh, on your belt. If you want to throw it on your backpack you could do that too. Uh, we actually hooked them up to a Nano. Had them on my walking my a uh, friend's dog the other day. Um, so yeah, I guess the things we're working on today are uh, I had to put in some thicker wires in there and solder some stronger solder joints because some of the wires got pulled out yesterday when we were uh, testing. So we're going to head back up to San Francisco um, on the Embarcadero. There's a lot of, a lot of really talented skaters and uh, fixie riders, BMX riders. It's kind of a cool scene because you got all these different alternative sports you know coming together in one place and doing what they love so just a lot of really cool things to look at a lot of really talented riders um, and so far they're really liking the Scully Boom which is making me stoked because I know that the production model is going to be even better than this one and riders are already taken to this one pretty well um, I guess comments so far is they want to see it a little bit lighter um, thinner profile and uh, when we're going to have to go for a little bit louder which is definitely on our agenda so uh, in due time we'll reach those goals for now I'm going to uh, play you a little sample of Scully Boom just so you guys can see how loud it is uh, it's actually pretty good already but we plan to make it about 30 to 40 percent louder in the production model um, I'm going to be playing The Rapture on their album Pieces of the People We Love. Uh, it's a really good, upbeat album. All the Rapture albums are, are pretty fun, but this one, I thought, you know, it's just a good start to finish album. So, uh, this is what he sounds like without any amplifier. This is just driving straight off the iPod. Uh, once I turn the amplifier on, then it's a little louder. You can increase the volume. So the only thing is, uh, as we get to the maximum volume, the fidelity kind of drowns out. So we're definitely going to be uh, working on making it so that it has really high audio quality all the way through the volume range. And 
obviously for iPods, because super common electronic use, but it'll work on any MP3 player. Um, but it's not bad. It's pretty fun to ride with already, and uh, we know if we continue working on it, then it's going to be an awesome product, so we're really excited about it. Um, we'll continue to keep you guys posted with any developments on this, but for now we got to keep doing the R&D.